for them to teach about the duties of a man and it's illegal for them to teach about the woman or the duties of the woman and that they should add the inclusivity of the LGBT community. And you already seen these churches, they're compromised. So now they say, God love gay people. You know, you can be gay and, you know, you don't teach a man how to be a man. You don't teach a woman how to be a woman. So the, the and the scriptures do talk about family and the word as well. So we're at a point now where Esau is looking to get rid of the Bible and his final task is going to be to come after to the teachers of the Bible, a.k.a. the prophets. So the scriptures and the Bible is looking to get pushed to the side to the side. So how can Jesus Christ, the image of Jesus Christ, be the image? They're not pushing the Bible. They're looking to get rid of the Bible. Mm -hmm. All right. The uh, image is the Roman system and we're coming into a new world order system which is the exact same as the roman empire which i'm going to show you verse 15 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and this is what we talk about you heard us talk about the uh, new world order so if you look up i just typed in right just look up roman empire government system so here's their government system old Descartes. Oligarchy, oli oligarchy, autocracy, theocracy, absolute monarchy. So if I just click the Roman Empire up here, just gonna click that. It tells you right here, okay? It tells you when it was founded, the area. It tells you the government, the type of governments they had. These four: o oligarchy, autocracy, theocracy, absolute monarchy. So if I go back and I'm going to click each one, oligarch, oligarchy, can't pronounce that, oligarchy, okay, it says a form of government, it says oligarchy is a form of a power structure in which power rests with a small number of people. Do we not reference these people today as the wicked elite, the international bankers? These people may or may have or may not be distinguished distinguished by one or several characteristics such as notability, fame, wealth, education, corporate, religious, political, or military control. So basically, these are people who you can't find because that's how they operate. You know the word Illuminati. Uh, their power, Apostle Barrow says, is their power is secrecy. Secrecy. At one point, people thought it was a myth. Mm -hmm. They laughed at the uh, idea of, oh, you're talking about some Illuminati, uh, you're a conspiracy theorist. But now, people know it's the truth. They know who they are. It shows you that they're losing power because the power of secrecy but not are exposed. But at the end of the day, those families, you never see their faces. They work everything behind the scenes. That's how the Roman Empire operated. Same thing today. All right, let's go to autocracy. It's a form of government. It says autocracy is a system of government in which supreme power over a state is concentrated in the hands of one person whose decisions are subject to neither external or legal restraints nor regularized mechanisms of popular control. Okay. Now, we know, we know um, who this is, right? If you look at NATO and the EU, which is that beast, who wants to be number one? Who wants to control? Who has the greatest influence in NATO and the EU? You could say America, Babylon the Great. And this is how they want to rule. America wants to be the, 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 the number one body that controls uh, the whole world. That has to say so. All right, so if you go to theocracy, I know theo, theo means God. Theocracy, a form of government in which a deity of some type is recognized as the supreme ruling authority, giving divine guidance to human intermediaries that manage day-to-day -day affairs of the government. And that's going to go to that, that, new, that new way of living, uh, which is will, will be uh, the, the, the new way of living, the, the new world order. Everybody under one, everybody has one mind. Heck, even the Greeks did that. You can read that in the Maccabees chapter 1. And then you got absolute monarchy. This is another form of government found in the Roman Empire. Okay, absolute monarchy is a form of monarchy in which the monarch holds supreme autocratic authority, principally not being.
being restricted by written laws, legislate, legislator, or written customs, meaning they are above the law. This is this all represents the Roman Empire. This is the image of the beast. This is the world that they are trying to push back towards, where everybody is under complete rulership of a small sect of people, aka the international bankers, the wicked elite, the families that you don't see, that you know of, right? Where America is calling all the shots, and they are above the law. They add or change the law, aka the scriptures. They are above the scriptures, and even though they write things into letter, they can change it as, as they want, aka they're going to be gods on the earth. You see how it all makes sense now? That, that image of the beast is just the Roman system, which they're trying to revitalize using this, uh, you could say, this push towards this new world order. Uh, you see signs of it today. It's known as the Great Reset. And uh, it's even on their currency, right? So let's, if I was to type in, if I was to type in Latin words on U.S. dollar, on dollar bill. What are those words on the dollar bill? All right, it says it has three Latin phrases. Um, okay. Enut coptis, which means he has approved our undertakings. Novos ordo securum, which means a new order of the ages. And the word, that, that just means time. A new world, that's like a new order of the ages. And that means world. If you read the Greek, order of the ages, time of the ages, that was translated to the word world. So that means new world order. And it says, an e pluribus unum, meaning out of many, one. You put it together, a new order of the time, out of many, one, where everybody's under one rulership. It's the same thing, man. It's the exact same thing. This is that's that image of the beast that they're pushing towards, and then and then to solidify it, they have a mark. Verse sixteen, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That mark we teaching you is the RFID microchip that will solidify your allegiance to the image of the beast, to this system, to this one body, this new world order, the Roman Empire, by taking that mark in your in your body and announcing that you are a slave. This is what prophecy speaks of. This is what we teach. If you don't believe it, please show me or whatever you teach, show me the signs. Because as it stands, this is moving forward fast. This is how we know we got the truth. Time will tell who really has the truth or not. So with that, I hope it was edifying. And I say, uh, shalom.